Hello everyone, this is Ryan Farley. Today I'm going to be showing you a new free and open source module from Customer Effects called the Background Task Module. This Background Tasks for Sales Logix uh, provides to you a couple of things, but mainly it's a framework for running background tasks in the Sales Logix web platform. Uh, we're looking at right now the console, which is an administrative screen installed uh, through the, the uh, background tasks for sales logics bundle. It shows you what background tasks are currently configured for this sales logics portal and also gives you the ability to uh, pause and start uh, tasks uh, at will. Um, but essentially, the background tasks for sales logics module is a framework that allows you to build your own background tasks and you can define an interval uh, for those background tasks to run. There's a lot of cases where you might need something like this, um, where you might need to do some cleanup on the server for something, you might need to uh, you know, do an export of data and upload it to an FTP server on some set interval. Um, and this gives you an easy to use framework to do that. So let's just take a quick look here um, at, at how, this is, how this comes together. So first of all, there's a, a bundle that you install into CellsLogix that gives you the background task for CellsLogix um, framework. And it gives to you this, this administrative console plus a DLL that provides the engine for the background task to run. Once that's installed in CellsLogix, the background task for CellsLogix engine runs as a, um, a service inside the web platform. And that service you can access from code just like you access any of the out-of-the-box CellsLogix services. Let's just take a quick look at how, once I have that framework installed by just installing the bundle, uh, how I would develop my own background task and then add it to the system. So I have Visual Studio open here, and a background task is essentially just an assembly that you build that uh, either implements a certain interface or inherits from a base class, and then you just provide the code that you want to run on the interval for that task. So I'm going to create a new project, and I'm going to create just a, a class library called Task Tester. And I'm going to leave the class just called class1, uh, but the important thing is here is that I add a reference to the framework that provides this functionality for me. Okay, so I'm going to add the reference now to the, uh, to the DLL. And again, this DLL you get as part of the, um, the bundle. Uh, I've added a reference to it, and now I need to either I can either um, implement the iTask interface, which you can see some things that 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 has built into it. But even easier, I'm just I'm just going to uh, have it inherit from the task base class. It's an abstract class that I'll need to override the execute method. This execute method is what is executed when the interval for this task comes around. Now, I'm going to keep this task simple. I'm going to just have it write to a text file in the root of the CellsLogix website so that every time the interval for this task occurs, it'll execute my code here in the execute method and all it will be doing is just writing to a text file. And I could do whatever I want there, uh, but in this case, just for the demonstration, I'm just going to do that just simple task. So I'll just uh, write up some code here. One of the things that the uh, task base class gives to me is the uh, Path to, path to the current CellsLogix portal, as well as a few of the CellsLogix services are injected into that base class as well. Okay, so I'll just um, write the current date and time every time that that interval occurs. Oops. 
Now just to point out um, a few of the other things that you'll see that are injected into this uh, task base is I do have the CellsLogix data service injected in here. So if I need to get a connection to the database, I have that all already available to me as well as the user service. Those are the current uh, items that are injected into a task when it runs. So I'm going to just compile this task DLL. And now all I need to do is add it into the CellsLogix portal. I'm going to go to the support files for the portal and I want to add my DLL that I just created into the bin folder of the uh, portal in the support files. So there's my task tester DLL. I'll add it in there. Now th that's one part of adding my custom task is adding the DLL of course. The other is to edit a config file that's in the root of the CellsLogix Portal. Now this is a config file that's given to you when you install the, the background task for CellsLogix bundle. So you can see I have a sample here of what the uh, how I how I need to wire that up. But essentially I'll just create a task entry and give it a name of task tester. Now the type is the I'll have the the fully resolved class name and the assembly that it's found in. So in this case it is uh, test uh, task tester and then class one oops and that is found in the task tester assembly. For the interval of that I will just set let's just that's in milliseconds so I'm just gonna set it to run every 10 seconds. There's an enabled property where I can specify whether or not it's enabled as well as a priority. And I'll give more information about the priority at a later time. So now I have the, the uh, task wired up and now all I need to do is do a deploy. Okay, uh, now that that's deployed, I'll just go back over to the currently running client. So now I can go to the background tasks uh, console and I can now see that that task tester that I wired up into the config file is now uh, running. It's uh, it last ran at 3.03.54 and I can see the time that it's going to next run. Um, if we wait a second we'll see that update uh, where the last run time there it goes it just updated. So I know that that just ran. Uh, and I can, at, I can uh, pause that task if I'd like to. It's now stopped oh, and then start it up again and it's back running again. Now one thing I'd like to point out is that I don't have to be on that task console in order for the task to be running. The task is running all the time now. As soon as I logged into CellsLogix, it started up that service and it started the tasks that were configured running. Any tasks that were listed in that task.config file started up and started executing and, and it's now running in the background even though I'm not on that console. That console simply views the tasks that are running, lets you uh, manage those if you need to, but the tasks are there and running whether you go to that console ever or even have the console installed. Um, that is uh, an overview of the background task for CellsLogix module. The, the code is open source and free for anyone to use. It's available now on uh, GitHub. If you go to github.com slash customer effects 
you'll see a project there listed called SalesLogic's Background Tasks. That's where you can download all the source if you'd like, or just go to the download sections and grab the uh, SalesLogic's bundle to install it. Once you've done that, you can then begin creating your own custom tasks to add into that framework. So I'd love for you to get a chance to use it and provide me with some feedback. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.